over the last year or so, C-Mac from 55th Street took over the internet. I know everyone has either heard about C-Mac's situation or seen some videos about it. An old Facebook account from about a decade ago had posts of him claiming multiple hoods. And even claiming hoods, the five fives are known to hate, like the Gangster Crips, even the Hoovers. Worst of all, he would even diss the neighborhood car. With him claiming 5-5 in the neighborhood Crips in recent years, his past has come back to hunt him. C-Mac has plenty of videos explaining the past and the current situation. Like this, cuz. I still am from 5-5 neighborhood Crips. Skinny jeans and thongs and jerk cut years ago on neighborhood Crip. I had issues cuz where I would just go on the internet cuz and put different hoods. That was 2012. Years some change later, cuz, got put on 5-5. Five five. From then, cuz, been a solid crip, a playboy crip. I ain't never been from Snow. I ain't never been from a Cajun Block Hustle crib. You fight me? I don't need good crib. I've been from 60s, and I've been from 5-5. Five five. Why y'all was in thongs and skinny jeans? Doing the jerk years ago, cuz. I was on the internet. You fired me, acting like I was from different hoods, cuz, out of anger. But that's nothing you fired me. I hood hook got five dude when I got put on in this alley on 55th Street and been crippling solid since. So now in these videos, he tries to clear up his past, but admits he claimed to roll in 60 Crips before he ever got put on 5-5 five five Crip, and even mentioning trends like skinny jeans, comparing it to him claiming multiple hoods. With everything going on online, he soon had to face his DP. And I'm gonna go take my issue now, cuz. That's be five, I was from the hood. Five me. I don't need foot trip. But, in this is I take your issue, cuz. I'm a solid 55th Street. It is 55th Street. Snello! Have a day, go see y'all right. You understand that? And um, I take responsibility as a man. I'm from 55th Street Crip. That's be five hours put on the hood. You understand? But cause guess what? On the hood. I know everybody has their own opinions. And I've seen a lot of people say he got DP because his hood was being jealous of him. In some aspects, it could be true. But if you're not from 5'5", five five, you wouldn't know what's going on behind the scenes. But if you're really in the streets or from the streets, you would know the outcome of certain situations. As the elite banger C-Mac portrays to be, this wasn't a good look. Dissing your own set and claiming rivals. That's something that will never be respected, especially with C-Mac a recent becoming the face of 5-5 five five Crip in the media and everything he does represents their set. So smut on his name makes the set look a certain way. And like he says, nobody is bigger than a program. One thing I can respect, he went to his DP and ran his fades. You can get DP for anything. Not coming to your set, making a set look bad, turning down fades, not going to meetings, etc. It's probably bangers from everyone's hood around the world not coming to their hood because they're scared they get disciplined off their actions, but still popping it like they official. But C-Mac, he showed up, took his DP, and kept it pushing. So that's why he's still 55th Street. You fired me? That situation wasn't supposed to fight go like that. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it 50 fair straight. Fair straight. I love all my nickels. And I respect all my nickels. I am a nickel. 50 fair straight. 50 fair straight. 50 fair straight. 50 fair straight. With that being said, what y'all think about this situation? Leave a comment and let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. If you haven't already, check out my previous videos.